Hello everyone. In this topic, we will discuss about the error detection and correction technique. So in this topic, let us discuss about the error detection technique. Error detection technique are the parity check, checksum method and cyclic redundancy check means CRC technique. So let us understand first the parity check. In this technique, one extra bit means in our data stream, we have to add one extra bit along with it to make a number of ones either even in case of even parity in case of even parity then we can add number of ones we can calculate number of ones is odd then we can add a one to that data bit so the data bit stream is even if in case data bit stream is odd number of ones then we can add zero in that one extra bit is sent along with the original data bits to make a number of ones either even in case of even parity or in case of odd parity then we can add odd in case of odd parity so for example if even parity is used then number of ones in data bit is even then one bit added this extra one bit with value 0 which is added so in number of ones bit in data stream is even this way number of ones remains even in second case if the odd parity is used the number of ones is odd then that that extra bit is added with value 1 so we can say that this way number of ones remains even if the number of ones is odd to make it even a bit with value 1 is added in case of odd parity now see this is our data bits 101001 so we have add one extra bit over here so now 1 2 3 we have total 3 ones number so we have add one extra bit with value 1. So total we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 means even. So this is even parity. Similar in odd parity. Now at receiving side, receiver count the number of ones in a frame. Means receiving the count that data bits and number of ones in that data bits frame. If the count is ones is even and even parity is used then that considered the frame is not to be corrupted and it is accepted so no bit level error in that frame if in case the count of ones is odd and odd parity is used the frame is still not corrupted because it is accepted and no bit error but in case if a single bit is flipped in transmission the receiver can detect it by counting number of ones if used even parity and counted bit is odd then receiver knows the bit is flip so it is not accepted and it is corrupted bit but when more number of bit are erroneous means not a single bit flip instead of the more number of bits are changed then it is very hard to receiver to detect that error so for that we have used another method checksum method so in this checksum method you have already studied this method in previous unit data divided into k segment each of m bits means m bits means data bits and k segments means total number of words at sender side the segment are added means sums using ones complement arithmetic operation to get resultant sums sums is complemented to get the checksum and that checksums send along with the segment to the receiver so checksum segment is sent along with the data segment at receiving side now receiving side the old received segment are added using ones complement arithmetic operation means the old word add added then after the ones complement arithmetic 
and to get complemented sums. So, in resultant, if result is zero, the receiving data is accepted, and we can say that it is error-free data segment. And if result is not zero, then we can say that the data is corrupted. So we can discard that data segment. See, here we see the example. K equals to four means segments. First segment, second segment. Summation of these segments. The K is generated, added over here. Sum of this data bit. Third segment, sum of these two segments. Answer is here. Then added fourth segment because we have k equals to four. So fourth segments answer is here. The k is generated. It's added over here. Now we do the arithmetic operation of one's complement of this sum. The complemented of this number is here. This is passed along with the data segment to the receiver. Now at receiving side, the can sum first segment, second segment. The sum is here. Carry is added. The answer is here. Now the third segment is add. The answer. Fourth segment is add. Carry is generated. The answer is here. Now the added segment is check some segment. See 0111000000111000000. Sum of these two segment. Resultant sum is all bits are. One so complemented of this zero 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 zero. So if any bits is win, so if result is zero, then we can say it is error free segment. If any one of the bit is changed zero to one, then we can say the segment is corrupted. In this method, the CRC is most powerful and easy to implement technique. It is based on binary division. So in CRC, the sequence number of redundant bits are appended to the each of the data segments. So that resulting data unit become exactly divisible by a seconds, means predetermine the binary number. And at the destination side, the incoming data segments is divided by the same number. And if at these steps there is no reminder, means zero reminder, so we can say data unit is assumed to be corrected means error free and it is accepted. There is a reminder then we can say the data is corrupted. So it not accepted. So reminder indicate that the data unit has been damaged in transmission and therefore it must be rejected. So now we can say the binary number which is R plus one bit in the length can also considered as a coefficient of a polynomial or we can say it is called generator polynomial. Let us understand this thing in example. See at the sender side we have this data unit segments and this is the polynomial divisor. So divisor by 101 we can calculate the binary division and the resultant answer or we can say 10 is CRC code. Now this CRC can added in data unit at receiving side. See 11001 is our data unit and 10 CRC added over here. Data bits plus CRC. Same divisor over here. So after calculation of binary division, we can check if here we can check it is zero, then we can say no error means the data unit having no error or corrupted bit. So it is accepted. If it is change over here instead of 000, then we can say the data bit is corrupted. Second example, C frame means data unit. The generator polynomial means the divisor is 10011. Now we are doing the binary division of this frame one one zero one zero zero one one zero one one and added four zero because this is five number of digits so we can add four zeros over here after completion of the binary division this reminder 
or we can say crc bit at sender side we have add this crc bit added over here see this is our actual frame 1101011011 and we have added 1110 as a crc so this data plus crc we can also perform the same binary division operation and if the remaining reminder bit is zero then we can say it is error free data unit otherwise we can say this is erroneous data unit and data is corrupted now so for this total three error checking and detection method we can say it is used for the single bit as well as odd and even bit multiple data bit checking error and crc is basically very effective in error detection technique in terms of performance the crc is very effective error detecting a technique if divisor is chosen accordingly to the previous mentions rules the performance of this crc method crc can also detect the single bit error also detect the double bit error even they can detect the odd number of the errors and crc can detect the all burst errors of less than a degree of the polynomial in next video we will discuss about the multiple access link and their protocols thank you